Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos here today. Today I have a Squirtle deck for you. The leader ability is Nature's Gift. This gives us three charges here. We've basically given vitality to a unit for two turns. It also has the Symbiosis tag. So Symbiosis works in the fashion where whenever we play a nature card, we'll get to spawn a Wandering Trent in a random allied row, setting its power equal to the number of units with Symbiosis that we control. So basically the idea with this deck is guys that we want to have our symbiosis units down on the board whenever we're opening around and from there because we have so many nature cards in this deck we're going to get that value of those wandering trends that get spawned the more units we have down on the board with the symbiosis tag the higher power the wandering trend is going to get um sorry the more power the wandering trend is going to get with each one spawned right so to take you through this deck we have crystal skull as the stratagem uh, we can be a bit flexible with the use of that stratagem for the main reason I have it here is that we're using this card here I will note this is a devotion deck and uh, we get to spawn sorry we get to use both abilities here because it's a devotion deck um, so on deploy we get to boost the dryad in your hand by two and we get to spawn a young dryad in this row so the young dryad is going to be this card here that we're spawning so a nice way that I like to open up with this deck is to play this first and we can give Crystal Skull to the Young Dryad giving it a bit of protection for its Symbiosis tag. So that's what the Crystal Skull is used for. Outside of that, use it on anything really. In this deck, we have the Young Queen here. On Devotion, she'll be transforming into the final version down here. It's a very strong version. Um, this is basically a finisher for our deck one of the ways that we're looking to win a match and the benefit of using her is that she'll be spawning two symbiosis units once again two young dryads and she will become a symbiosis unit herself when she reaches this final version also having veil so she does have protection there too and uh, she's not too bad to use in this st second stage either say if you need to bleed um your opponent out of some good cards and maybe you want to play this in round two you can also do that as well keep in mind that she won't have the symbiosis tag but as you can see we get a lot of good value playing the young queen in this deck because she does give us two symbiosis units and with all these nature cards we got puts us in a very good and strong position right away also gives us a bit of a point slam when we play this card um having gezras in this deck she fits quite well because She's given extra bodies on the board, and that's exactly what we need for Gezras to get the most out of his boosting value, okay? So try to play this card with Gezras together. Here's Gezras, guys. Make sure you're playing him on Adrenaline 3. He can do row damage to all of your opponent's units on the melee row, and he can boost all of our units on the ranged row. He fits very well in a Symbiosis deck. Obviously, we need as many units as possible for him to boost to get the max value. So, you know, getting these Wandering Trents spawned all over the board, we're bound to get some in the ranged row, and then he can start boosting those up too. Try to play this card with the Young Queen, as I just suggest, suggested there prior. Um, another win card for us. Don't spend this in the first round, guys. Try not to, okay? Simless. So out of the new release cards that have come out, this is quite a strong one. Uh, we, I did manage to fit him in this deck and he plays very, very well. This is a card that you shouldn't be afraid to commit to in the first round. And it allows us to play all copies of a bronze special card from your deck. For me, the choice that I like to go with for Simless is the double rebuke. I feel that is a very great play. Basically it gives us an option of some tall removal. We can do 10 damage with Simlas, but um, we find we'll get more benefit by going for, for the death blow with the rebukes. Because we have um, the wandering trents getting spawned, the way nature's rebuke is on death blow, boost a random ally trent by two. So, you know, you want to play a nature card before you play Simlas, have wandering trent down on the board, and then go for the death blow with the rebuke when you're playing Simlas. So it can play for some pretty good value. You kill a five powered unit, that's death blow and then you get to boost a trent by two so that's a seven point play practically uh, for this card very good so try to keep the nature's rebuke always in your deck both copies and as i said simas is a good first round card and it can really catch your opponent off guard the amount of points you can generate um, playing him 
Forest Protector gives us extra options for removal in this deck. Play a Bronze Nature card from your graveyard. You can be flexible with the use of this card. Play it as you need. It is a Trent, so um, if you played, if you decide to play Nature's Rebuke with this card and kill something, he'll get boosted by two. So yeah, pretty nice card to have in this deck. Gives us more options in, you know, taking advantage of our symbiosis. Uh, tags in this deck. It's given us more access to nature cards. Yeah Call of the forest nature card. This will be triggering the symbiosis once again We get to play a square tool unit from our deck and boost it by one. I would say it's probably best to save this card uh, Particularly for Gezras because we we don't have neutrals We don't have echo cards like a Neuromancy and we need something to get him This is pretty much the one sure way we can get Gezras um, out of our deck if we don't have him in hand. So try to save Call of the Forest for Gezras if you don't already have him in your hand. So I guess this is probably a card to save for later in the match. Shaping Nature is a pretty nice card. Um, obviously it's a nature card, so once again, it's gonna trigger the symbiosis that we have. We've got a number of different abilities here. Mostly in, in our deck, we're looking for this one here, boost by five and give vitality five. And we will be looking to use that on the Hummer Dryads. They're a Symbiosis unit too. At the end of your turn, if this unit has Vitality, boost off by one. So definitely go ahead and target this with Vitality whenever you can. Um, even with our leader, if you want to do that at times, try to be sparing about how you use that. But try to more so go for Shaping Nature onto this. One drawback with that is that the card can become very tall. So that's a bit of a weakness there. But behind Defender, this can play pretty good and safe. So yeah, don't be afraid to use Shaping Nature throughout the first round and so on. And a good way to get Shaping Nature out is through Flav here. Um, play a Nature card from your deck. So she's, I think she's the best way to go about that, guys, because we really want to make sure we get that value. It's an Echo card and have it on us. So if you don't have Shaping Nature, your first target for this card should be that Echo. And she's a great first round card too, guys. Keep that in mind. Figus, we'll be looking to play him with Gezras when the time comes. And also the Young Queen, the Dryad, our power play. So you want to play Figus down on the board first. Then you play the Queen, then Gezras, Symbiosis units, nature cards, so on. Save this when you're trying to go for the finish in a match. Um, a nice way to get Figus insured for us can be through Isengrim's Council. Look at a random Dwarf, Dryad, and Elf from your deck. Play one and boost it by two. So Figus is the only Dwarf that we have in this deck, so Isengrim's Council will pretty much ensure that we have a Defender throughout a match. So try to save this for Defender, this card here. Yep, already explained this card. Uh, we get a lot of good value out of its Devotion ability, so I did feel adding it in was good. First round card to play. We have the Elf here, which gives us some locking abilities, lock a unit and move it to the other row. So, um, you know, this could be good if you want to get some extra value out of Gezras's melee row damage ability. Maybe you can move a ranged row of your, um, a ranged row unit for your opponents to the melee row. And by doing so, Gezras will be boosting outside of the board and also doing some extra damage there. Just help to maximize uh, some value there with Gezras. Otherwise, use it as need be on any engine piece you see your opponent play, right? Hummer Dryads. I would say go ahead and play one of these in the first round. That's safe. You can use Leader Ability on it initially, um, if not Shaping Nature. You can even go ahead and play this, and the Dryad that you boost should be that. So it's got some protection if you want to then play Shaping Nature after, if you don't want to use Leader on it. Keep in mind... Do not use Booster Dried in your hand by two on Young Queen because she transforms and by transforming she'll be losing that boost that she gained, all right? Dried's Crest, this gives us Purify, um, it gives us boosting and vitality. So this is also a good card to use on the Hummer Dried to get their ability going. Double tempering the nature cards. We do have the Elf unit here for some movement. So we can move an enemy unit or an allied unit. You'd be surprised how handy this card um, can come in at times. 
Some of our opponent's important units have roadlocked order abilities. Save him for that time. Even if it's against the defender, you can save him for that time. Um, you know, you can also use it to get more value out of Gezras's uh, boosting ability. So say when um, Gezras has come back to the range row, you can play this card down, uh, select Gezras, put him back on the melee row and boost the ranged again, just to get more boosting value instead of uh, his row damage ability going. Elven Scribe, very nice in our deck here. You can play one in the first round, it's pretty nice. And um, after you played a nature card, he'll have two counters left, but you can catch your opponent off guard very well with Simlas then. Simlas can come in very good. Um, obviously we get to play two special cards, so then that will activate the remaining counters. He gets boosted to 10, Simlas pops off, big point swing there. And at the bottom here, Dried Enchantress. You can give armor three. I mean, you could go ahead and give this to Gezras, um, the Dwarf Defender. And also give Vitality 3. It does fit in the theme of the deck. Vitality 3 is good for the Hummer Dryads. And I thought it'd be okay to add the Oak Critters in here. Because with Devotion, we get to use both abilities. Spawning another copy of this. And it gives Bleeding. But this is a good backup plan if we're short on units on the ranged row for Gezras because it's spawning extra bodies on the board. So that's why I thought it fits and that's why I added it in. Also a Trent, so you know if you're using Nature's Rebuke, it's going to boost this if you kill something. So that is it guys. I've had a pretty good win ratio with this deck. I know it's starting to become popular again lately. This is my take on it. Hope you enjoy it. And let me know down below what you think. Thank you. Hey, Slimey, what's up, buddy? Have a hamster. Yeah, I'll accept the hamster. I like hamsters. Why not? Has it been taken to the vet already? Has it been checked? Order will triumph. It must triumph. Uh, we don't have the best stride to boost in hand here. Hmm. Still go ahead and play this. Perfectly healthy. <laughs> nice to know. Yeah, so doing a bit of symbiosis deck testing, Slimy. It's uh, one of my next upcoming decks. Don't worry, it's not ST traps. You've got nothing to worry about. Uh. I guess we better keep this alive. It's fun. Hey Doc, what's up buddy? Finally 160p. <laughs> hey, you gotta step it up now man. You're an official Gwent partner, you know? Things are just gonna keep going on the up. Probably wanna kill that off, hey? Hmm. I guess we want to get value out of this though. Tell that to my internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for you on your Gwent partnership, man. That's really awesome. You really deserve that. That's probably the best news I heard all week, dude. Jousting. Why you gotta do me like that, man? Just get double rebuke action. I rebuke you. Bet they weren't expecting that. Twitter idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's everything we discussed, buddy. Everything we discussed. It all comes together. See, many little things pushed you there in the end. Awesome. Very happy for you. Now, just keep building on your channel, dude. Just keep going places. 
Go all the way. Don't hold back. Believe in yourself. <laughs> it's paid off. Yeah. Uh, might as well go ahead and use this. So shaping nature, really good to play the um, vitality effect onto the drives that we have here, but unfortunately I don't have them at the moment. So we're just kind of going for the boost value, which is pretty good too. Echo card as well. No drop. Gets leader out. That's a fair amount of points, but they didn't draw anything out of leader there. That's pretty interesting. I, I probably should push in. Yeah, I should, I should. I think we should push in against these guys. Uh, not orbs, no, not in this one. I'm going a bit more old school. Ah, we got wanderers out. Wanderers, yep. Yeah. I think that's the pass point. In this deck, this is what I got. It's a devotion deck. Um, I just got the Elven Scribes from the newer cards. But yeah, I'm pretty much going with the old school Symbiosis feel, but uh, my touch to it. Something different. Spiced it up with a few different cards. She's great when she reaches when she reaches this one, Wrath of Brocklon. Really good. Veiled unit. Solid, solid news for us. And in this case, maybe we're saying goodbye to the scribe. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Simlas in here too, as you guys saw. Not bad. A few different things. I dead. Quite right. Uh, choke the embers. Wind blow out the flame. I guess generally speaking, it's better to have the habit of uh, stacking range through it, guys, because we got Gezras. But it looks like we're okay here. In this scenario on devotion these guys spawn their copy and do bleeding so yeah looks like it's gonna be a long round definitely want to have our nature cards down um, for the queen here So I've got one movement unit in here too. You'd be surprised. This works pretty good sometimes. You can offset roadlocked enemy units. Um, you know, you can reset Gazarus for more boost if we want to do that too. 
was thinking uh yeah that to that to that square tool unit uh movement Not bad. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, open up with Defender. Range throw, right? As I said. Just want to stack range throw. We want to get our symbiosis units down first. And then we go ahead and play nature cards, yeah? And then we're going to start spawning the uh, the Trents in random rows. I never err in my yeah, so we get full value here. So, Call of the Forest. Just wait. Call of the Forest. We can still activate Elven Scribe here, but we gotta pull him first now. Yeah, okay. Do this. Yes, that would fit perfectly. Uh, vitality. Guess we can go ahead and do this. Gezras unanswered is a lot of points, you know. They probably got, uh, what do they have for Gezras? Bulga Forts? Oh, that's what they're banking on. I don't want to clog up my road, do I? Go yeah, Gezras next. Can we generate the points, guys? What do you think? Do we have what it takes? Yes, you think so, Slimy? Absolutely. That's very reassuring to hear. Thank you, sir. That's what I need to hear during my games, you know? Words of wisdom and courage. Wow, they don't know what to do. Legit. Oh, Red Haze! Yo, I wasn't expecting that, man. There's a great deal. Gives rest, yeah. Poor Treeman. <laughs> Oh man, that red haze. I wasn't expecting that. Come on, baby. Give us the W. So we got the boosting and we got the road damage. Very good.
Yeah, it's going to hit Gezeras, yeah? An interesting to a man. Okay. Good target for Rebuke. Um, when we kill a target with Rebuke, it also, um, what do you call it? Boost a random allied Trent by two as well. So don't forget that. We get some sick value with the Symbiosis here, guys. Uh, let's go. Let's go with the Vitality now. Onto Hummer Dryad because of its ability. Yeah, and we'll trigger the Scribe. Should be good. Yeah, this Symbiosis deck, it gets a lot of points. That's what I've found so far with it. Hello, hello, how are you? Just trying to kill it off, guys. Can't let that happen. We must protect the forest with the forest protector. Just rebuke them into smithereens. Oh, that's popping off, man. Yes. That's what we want. Fantastic scenes for the opening match of the stream. Oh, that's that's my only thing about the Hummer Dryads. You know, they got a great ability, but that boosting they just go super tall, easy target. Got to be careful when you're playing them. Take a look, guys. What's it gonna be? Play your final card. Ooh, spores. Hey, there we go. Yes. Yeah, we got it in the bag, Slimy. Wow, that's a great victory. Let's give him by a crow mother, yes. Under those circumstances, it can be acceptable. But otherwise, you know, we, we can't be sure, guys. You can never be too sure. Yes. Okay. So they're probably going to go Coral. That's what we always see when this mask is down here. An angry... Bear man? <laughs> oh, Slimy, you're funny, dude. An angry werebear. Is that how they become like that? You're talking about the ones from the totem, yeah? The ones that have to get damaged to get triggered. There's Crow Mother. They got it set up. Maybe we're going to go like this. No mercy. Oh, should we get a lock here? Well, we got Simlas for double rebuke. Maybe we're not going lock. We don't need a roast stack here. They threw Giga. That's a bit of a toss, isn't it? Throwing Giga? Uh, I don't think I have to boost that yet. I might save leader. We want to be conservative with leader, yeah? We don't want to overcommit things. That's why I got the Enchantress. It's to ca captivate you, yeah? She's going to give three vitality, captivate you. So everything's going to be fine. So we're going to play her onto the Hummer Dryad. Yeah, and then it can start boosting up. There it is. Gonna have here. Yo, check out this seamless value now. We're gonna hit the double rebuke of the back. And it's gonna pop off um the scribe as well. Why should I, an elf, a sage, converse with an ape? 
Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> wow. That's something. The Skellige Berserk Ritual from The Witcher 3. Yeah, yeah. I remember that Witcher 3 quest when you find Morkvarg in that cave. And it's like you gotta decide to kill him or not, I think it was. Ah, uh, Melusine. Okay, well we want to get the Hummer Dryad boosting up, right? We've no need for your That's a different one? Okay. Draco Turtle... So they're going... So they're gonna go Scenario, right? They got Scenario. Scenario over long round. We're well, still ahead on points. Three bleeding. Yeah, it works. Not Mork Bug. It's when you feast with Ceres and Yelma at the entire hall. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I remember that one now. Yeah. That was crazy. And you face the stress. Gods protect us. Yeah, those are some cool quests. Wow, using leader? Okay. Yeah, really trying to get out of it, hey. Oh, uh, we got leader out of them here. We play on. It's got bleeding. Decoction and Draco. You reckon keep pushing? Well, we do have some points and there's bleeding going on too. Right of the sea. I'm wed to no man, but to the sea and its god. Damn. I think we got some good things out of them here, guys. Draco Turtle, Bride of the Sea, Leader. You'd pass, Slimey. I think you guys had the right thinking to push one more card there. Getting brighter the sea out of them is pretty good. Nice. Okay, good, good.
Do need nature cards. Plays on. We'll show you some blood spelling's done. I can do a great deal more for you. That's not getting the way of me. Not a good hit for us. No point playing scribe here. Mother Earth, I grant you my life from you it's been to tenants. <laughs> Coral. <laughs> You've seen enough of us, Lomi. Wow, he's playing scenario. He's going all in. Damn. All right. Looks like it's going to be defended now, then. Yo, Rich, what's up, buddy? That's things. They're going all in, guys. Crap. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. We've got a ton of road damage coming up. They're gonna regret stacking there. Hmm. But yeah, Scribe does nothing here for us. Not really good. Wow. Okay, okay. So damage by two. Okay, so we take the card advantage. I don't really think they have much else outside of that. They threw scenario there, so have a look. I like Coral, but that kill was BS. <laughs> All good, how's Symbiosis? Yeah, it's doing pretty good. Uh, we won our first match just before this one. So, so far so good. Okay. Call of the forest. So maybe we can lock something. Yeah, let's go for it. He didn't even finish the scenario, yeah. He was uh, desperate. 
because he committed hard in the first, you know, like throwing a leader and the other cards that he threw. Yeah, so we can go ahead and lock this. This just falls perfectly for us. Your will guide us. Wow, look at the points go. Fantastic scenes, guys. This is exactly the news we want. Hey, that's it. Beautiful. That was a nice win. With all the bleeding. We'll see. We'll see how we go, guys. Just start off like this. I must re examine the manuscripts. Ten Ikea, Ted Day Red is nigh. So got Sunset Wanderers too. Locks it. So it can hit um, Simlas next and it triggers it. That's the good thing about having Simlas. can catch them off guard, you know, it's on count. Two counts left. But then playing him triggers it in the one go, basically. So if they're planning on timing it, it'll work against them. Double Rebuke's really good for Simlas. Get a ton of value. Pretty good double rebuke target. Let's trigger it now. Uh, what up? Centuries, you behave like you were barely one. I mean, it's better to kill something with rebuke because then we'll be boosting the trends. Uh, whatever. That's pretty good still. Wave. All right. Not bad. Not bad. What can we do to stay ahead here? Keeps us on even. Damn. Is that a misplay or what? It's 
spawn two drones and boost all other insectoids in this row by one. Wouldn't it have been better playing it up back? It's interesting, guys. Say we just go for a big play here with Shaping Nature and we get Wanderers out of them. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go for the boost. Yes. What's up, OBS? Let's get the Wanderers out of them, eh? Leader. Wow, they're, they're committing a bit here, guys. This first round, let's remember. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. It's first round. That's a pretty big commitment, man. Got Wanderers out. Four leader. Yeah, I think we're safe to pass. You thought it's last round? Yeah, I thought so. You tell me play Eichny now, come on. <laughs> You're enthusiastic. I'll give you that. I love the support of my viewers, but I think it's a bit of an early time to play her. <laughs> Pass is fine, yeah. I think that's a bit of a commitment from them, to be honest, Just getting Wanderers out. Damn. Yeah, lock in this scenario. Guess we don't have a huge need for lock, do we? We do need a card to toss to. Maybe she's a good toss card. Chantress. I don't know about lock here. Yeah, it's probably better. I shall never be alone again. It's pretty interesting. Maybe we'll go like this. Why not? Yeah, he's pushing. I know, it's interesting, hey? Oh, because wants to go for Mamuna, right? Is he trying to set up Mamuna or what? I reckon we just stay ahead on points and we should be good here. Yeah, we'll get one leader charge. We can drop Enchantress onto that next. Gives us good value. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'm happy with that. Card advantage, I'll take it. Leader's pretty much gone. Card advantage. I'm happy, sir. Thank you for your business. Nice doing business with you, sir. Wrath of Broccolon is coming. You shall regret messing with me. Guess we need nature cards to activate symbiosis.
Probably makes sense to go like this. Doesn't it? This one first. Go this. I don't care. Glusty isn't in this deck. I have no idea. We'll have a we'll have a look though, we'll see. So they just use parasite, right? Yeah, parasite. Um it's worth giving a charge here. I'm alright with that. Lock isn't needed. Yeah, I don't think it's needed. Um shuffling my hand around, it got kinda of left there. We'll see. Hi, my name is Vlad. I mean, how are you? Hello, Vlad. Yeah, pretty good. How about yourself? Thanks for coming on the stream. How many... Natural Selection 2? Can have much more removal than that. Can they... What is the optimal play? I mean, they could have spores though, hey, big reset coming up. I think so. Round three. You must fight for the hills and the woods. They could have a big reset. Yeah, you know, um, it's an organic card spores. It fits in that deck. I wouldn't be surprised if they got a big reset. Maybe we have to be careful not boosting one unit too tall. Nature card, eh? Nature tempering is it gonna be? I think Gezras next. Uh, we're gonna go for road damage with Gezras, guys. We're not messing around with that. We didn't taint the mutation process. We improved it. Uh, let's see. Maybe like this. Oh yeah, that's it. No bone talisman for you, my friend. That's it. I reckon they're trying to go bone talisman. They're swarming. Maybe they're gonna get another evolution. Yeah, they're trying to swarm. Shouldn't go front row, I don't think. Yeah, that's right. Should get back. That's smarter for you, my friend. One, two, new evolutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that. In case they've got an evolution to go on front. We'll clog the back row up. They're doing road damage in the front too, that's fine. 
three turns. I'm worried about that. Worried about this last card. Okay, we got it. Cool. We got the W, guys. 